Time to play with some clay. Well, there's not much time for me to work today because I've got to uh, join some friends for dinner. And I'm getting a late start this afternoon. So, I'll do as much as I can. I've got one camera on right now. Mainly because it's a, it's a hard angle. And uh, I'm just trying to fill in underneath the uh, chin of the horse. I was going to try to get the uh, clay to the foundry today, but uh, I just uh, didn't have the time. And it's not to the point where I want to do it. And tomorrow, they're closed, so I'll just take it Monday or Tuesday. I've had a lot of people ask me where they can get the type of reference materials that I've got on my board over here. And uh, I explain how to do that on my instructional videos, at least a couple of them. But I'll go ahead and tell you, if you go on Google, and you do a search for animal anatomy or horse anatomy, I mean. And uh, you type in horse anatomy for, and then you end the, the search choir query with the words for artists. If you don't do that, you'll get a bunch of other crap. It's called... So when you do the search for horse anatomy, you always type out uh, horse anatomy for artists. And uh, when the search is complete, you'll get photos in the photo area of the uh, Google page. And if you open that up, you'll find just literally hundreds of photos right at the beginning of the uh, photos. If you go keep going down though on the search in the uh, list of photos, you'll eventually get to a bunch of other crap. But it gets, it narrows the search down so that you can actually find what you're looking for.
Sorry about my hand, but nothing I can do about it with this uh, angle. It's hard to get this uh, in camera. All right, it's time to uh, take this down. So I gotta take out this temporary support. back to where it's supposed to be. I just take care of some of the nicks I put into the base of the horse. This is about all the time I've got right now to work on this clay. And uh, I will pick uh, this up tomorrow. I've got to do the front legs and get them properly done. All right, I'm using a little Ronsonol to uh, <coughs> finalize this head. It uh, melts the clay. I don't know why, but it does. And smooths it out. And I'm using a artist's, a professional oil painter's paintbrush to do this with. Because you, they don't lose the hairs in the uh, brush. You don't want to be picking hair out of the uh, clay after you've finalized it. Right, I'm going to put my Ronsonol up. All right, I'm happy the way it's turned out. This whole entire clay is just, uh, it's been a challenge, but I'm liking it a lot. I like the base the way it is right now. I'm gonna probably rough it up even more. But uh, I'm happy how it's turned out. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a 
link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.